Hello guys, my name is Nate to Safix, and today we have another video. And uh, well, uh, this is a new series that I'll hopefully be starting, uh, probably depending on whether or not you guys uh, like this series. But I just figured that this was something new, and uh, yeah, it could be quite fun, I guess. So um, <clears throat> basically, what I was thinking with this series is that I could call uh, this series like Ballsy Bets or something like that. And uh, basically, you see me here on CSGO Lounge, and uh, I was actually thinking on betting on H2K on this one, because I think that H2K probably have a bigger chance of winning than 26%. Um, and then I looked at the Titan Aces, I am like 100% sure that that is going to go for Titan. This one, I actually think that it would be smart to bet for alternate attacks. I don't think they're going to win, but I think 9% is probably a bit too low. Then I asked uh, my friend Miniz uh, from Meteor Makers if uh, he was confident uh, that they were going to win. And he said, nope, uh, he wasn't actually confident, though he had put up 50 euros on himself. Um, I don't even... Well, it, I, I guess it's not illegal. Um... In, in, in just Counter-Strike betting, but um, <clears throat> basically uh, that kind of talked me out of uh, betting on that, and this Navi Aces, I mean, I I don't know Navi very well, I know their players, but I haven't seen their recent form and such, and Aces are just pretty much an up-and-coming team, I think, because they only just started appearing on uh, Cisco Lounge, and then I looked at this one, and uh, basically uh, Ninjas in Pajamas, in my opinion, should not be able to lose to Navi. And uh, for that reason I'm going to go for Navi, uh, NIP here. And uh, I think 83% is a decent, uh, decent, uh, well, uh, percentage, I mean, it's not too much and... I'm pretty certain that uh, Ninjas and Pajamas are going to win. And uh, since it, it is going to have to be ballsy bets, I'm going to have to go big. And uh, as you can see, I actually already put up a bet on H2K. But if we go into my profile here, and as you can see, I've lost pretty much half my bets. My bet history hasn't been that insane. And I only really bet small. I mean, it's, it's just a few uh, dollars or euros or whatever. And uh, have never ever made a huge bet, so I hope that I don't fuck up here. But I'm going to go ahead and um, put up my op red line. That is seven point thirty-two dollars, and also my M4A4 for Asimov. So what will happen is that if I win, I will get just over seven dollars. Which is uh, pretty decent, and I think the chances of me winning this bet is, uh, well, pr pretty big. But if I do lose, I am, I've am i basically, I mean, all of these skins are pretty much shit apart from the AK Fire Serpent and the Desert Eagle Blaze. So I will pretty much have lost half of my inventory. And it's a huge bet, and uh, probably not the, the most clever thing to do, but I'm going to go ahead and do this, this is my first ballsy bet, and uh, then we're going to close this down, open up this, and I'm uh, going to go ahead and minimize this a bit, just make it a bit larger again, and um, yeah, I'm going to wait for the trade offer, and there it is, so we're going to head on into the trade offer here, and go we are going to say yes please, we are want to bet this. So, as you can see, my orb red line with my stickers and my M4A4 Asimov, which is battle scarred but looks uh, well worn. And, uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do this. And obviously I'm going to return when this uh, match has been played to see if I won or if I did not win. Hello guys, my name is Suffix once again. And uh, today we are currently um, on, well, a, a day later than uh, the contrary that you have just seen. And um, 
if we go into my bets, you can actually see that uh, I bet on Mystic and I bet on Titan. What am I talking about? I bet on Hellraisers and Mystic. I'm sorry, I read this while I was pointing out this. Um, and as you can see, I got my ship back. So, let us see how that worked out. Bet history. And if we would load up, as you can see, um, NIP one against Navi. And I got my two nice skins back. And um, if we go into bet history, the H2K Mystic actually went through as well. So I have actually a couple of returns. Uh, I got well all of this. And also the Star Trek Splash, the Desert Eagle Heirloom, field tested. Electric Hive, field tested. Hive, minimal wear Star Trek. Normal, Dark Water. And a Nova Graphite Factory new. Um, so yeah, basically both of my bets uh, were won, and uh, I've actually uh, put a lot of thought into this series and how to make it better. Because I mean, if you if the whole series would revolve around me doing uh, bets and such, it could be really fun. I mean, but it's just like I could see how it would get really repetitive and. It would kind of force me to actually make some bets that I probably wouldn't want to simply because I had to put out a video. But um, I had this idea that um, basically whenever I win uh, my bet, if it's a ballsy bet obviously, maybe I will even do more than one bet in one uh, episode. If I win my bet and well basically if I win uh, more than one if if I I'm gonna try to start over. Okay. If I bet for one game, which is kinda risky, and I win. Or if I bet on more games and I win the majority of my bets, I will give away one of the cool items that I have uh received. And a lot of you guys have been requesting giveaways, and I have been saying that I don't want to do giveaways, and really, I don't want to gi do giveaways, because I think it's kind of cheap, but, I mean, so many of you guys have requested it, and I thought this would make the series a lot better, so I'm not doing this like I'm going to do a lot of give giveaways on my stream, or in other videos or anything, but I just thought... This is a series for you guys who would like to have some giveaways, but also want to see some exciting content. And yeah, I know this episode is probably really long and maybe uh, really boring, but it's the first episode of the series and I have to explain everything, how this works and all that. So that is the reason why uh, it might be a bit boring. But uh, my thought behind this was... That I'm going to be giving away the, the Orb Electric Hive field tested for this episode. And all you have to do is um, press the like button. And uh, yeah, obviously I have no way of actually checking if you actually press the like button. So it's basically just something you do for me, uh, free of charge. And if you want to get in on the... Uh, the whole giveaway thing. I want you to leave a comment on this YouTube video and write Electric Hive and uh, this comment will obviously vary from uh, episode to episode but as we are giving away a, an Electric Hive field tester this time the comment you want to type is Electric Hive and when I release the next episode I will uh, basically uh, go into random.org and find out who is going to be the winner I will trade off the op electric hive to whoever the winner is uh, when I get answer from the person and then I will go on to making another episode where we hopefully win and can give away more stuff. So I hope that uh, you like this setup and like this episode, like the whole idea, I mean also just the betting aspect of it. I haven't seen a single betting uh, series on CS Go. So I thought that this was something new, something uh, Something new in the sort that, well, in the sense that it's uh, about betting, which might be fun. A lot of people bet on uh, Counter Strike Global Offensive. And also, this is a really neat way to score some cool guns, I guess. So, um, all I'm asking is simply a comment with Electric Hive in uh, 
in the comment section and if you could leave a like as well just to show just to show me that you really enjoy this series and that I should continue it that would be insane so uh, that is basically what I had to say guys please do like and a comment and subscribe if you haven't my name is Nick Talk Suffix, and I'll see you in the next video